Hello ladies, um, I am, uh, as you know, I, I didn't know what to do for this time, so, um, but you all really know that I am, um, I do a lot when I don't know what to do. Um, so I, um, I took some paint out, I did have some, uh, um, furniture paint uh, so I did paint a lot of uh, different things uh, that I that needed uh, painting and um, why I did that was um, was because I found these um, these ones are I think they are candlesticks uh, or, or candle holders, uh, but they have this tube inside, so I'm not quite sure what they have been used for. They are plants, something, yeah. I will put a picture here where you can see uh, the gold color, um, and uh, I painted them white, and uh, I got this idea from. Um, I was, yeah, I start <laughs> again, um, I found these in the dumpster, um, I was looking and I was thinking, hey, did they have something I could use this time? No. Okay. But I saw these two and I was thinking, oh, they are the wrong color, uh, I need to paint them, it will be a big job and everything. And what am I gonna do with them? I can't send them because they weigh like very much, uh, over a kilo. Um, and that will be too expensive if I'm gonna give them away out of uh, Denmark. But then I was uh, sitting and waiting for my baby boy to wake uh, from his uh, nap. And I was watching uh, Facebook and I am a member of the page, uh, the craft, Crafty Crafters, uh, and Debbie Lewis um, had a picture where she had some um, uh, glasses uh, turned upside down, and she's not the first one, uh, because then yesterday I was watching uh, some tutorials, and uh, uh, there was uh, somebody else who also had made this for a wedding uh, and Christmas and where you take a wine glass and you put it upside down and you put some decorations inside. And I was thinking I could do the same with this one. I could put a uh, actually a water uh, glass uh, and then on top put a... Um, I have one of the big crystals I could put on top, so that would look nice. I would put a doily. Uh, right now I just have something like here and put some pearls or some bling or something like that and then the glass on top. So that was what I was thinking using it for. Um, I just wanted to show you that I am using this like so right now so this sits like this one and it's just like putting bits and pieces and then it looks uh, very um, vintage and uh, inspiring yeah so that is uh, the story about these ones so they were free <laughs> they were from the dumpster so yeah then I, um, after I've take, uh, made the other video from uh, uh, Friday, I uh, took out uh, Lacey's um, swab and uh, I wanted, um, actually I would, I was uh, laying and, and I wanted to take a nap and I watched a video uh, of some mixed media where she um, takes a book and she takes some of the uh, pages out and paint uh, and glue them together and put some lace in between and when she was finished with the base 
um, she took out a lot of different colored of flowers and different shapes and I was thinking now I know what to do so I took out everything she had and placed it on the table um, then I took the heart the heart that I didn't know what to do with because I knew these fibers matched the napkin perfectly so I just wrapped some of it around so I took some of the um, the twine uh, with the I don't know what this flimsy ones are and some of the green eyelash trim I, I, eyelash trim I think and uh, and this one I took it all of this <laughs> and um, then on the other side I was thinking oh, flowers of course flowers and it was such a beautiful day uh, Friday uh, we had sun all day and it was warm and um, and it just inspired me so I tried to uh, a couple of you is uh, decorating uh, buttons right now and there was a couple of buttons so I was thinking hey I uh, am not that keen on buttons in my work but uh, the colors was perfect so I have some here and then I this is normally not my kind of work I I can't figure out how to place them but this actually was not easy but it, it was fun and um, I had my hot glue uh, out and and just played so I put a little bit of bling on this um, uh, rose and a, a little bit of bling on oh where's the camera here yeah. uh, on the center uh, and I don't think I did much more um, the other parts was uh, her own uh, creations I started with these ones because they are when you get them they're very flat and I I knew I wanted them to like be alive and so I just with every normal flower you do like this so if you just pull them together put a dip of glue in the middle and just do like this then you have something exciting to watch this one is actually just a round circle I have frayed the edges but when you do this and you just put it in between some of the flowers it like uh, gives a, a dimension to your work so and uh, there's these uh, small flowers uh, in between and I was very um, I was thinking of uh, how to make this because uh, you have some blue flowers here but I did have to like um, spread it out so I didn't have the same color uh, right beside each other because then it wouldn't like uh, do this uh, excitement oh I'm sorry <laughs> but I don't know if you can see flat back pearls these ones is actually from my own stash uh, then underneath this one there's some bling one of the buttons that is a uh, yeah uh, orange colored I put some of the different bling she gifted me and some of the sequins I just uh, glued some of the sequins on because the color is perfect uh, and it shines a little bit one of the buttons one of the pieces from a bracelet oh sorry again I'm used to it the other way around I think the paper uh, flower um, the gold button the butterfly actually I started gluing this part first and then I took the crown I wanted it to like do something here and then I took the butterfly 
then I knew I would center this beautiful flower, one of her beautiful crunchy flowers. Um, and then I just wanted to like uh, combine, so of course I, I worked downwards with uh, this part. And then uh, I was thinking I needed to like get together and um, and the crown is still a little bit too much away from the other things but it is a crown and uh, on monograms uh, for the uh, kings and queens often you have a crown on top of the letters so that was uh, what I was thinking too. And then the butterfly, the butterfly is not always on the, they like fly and then they sit on the grass and I don't know if they look and see what is going on. So, oh, I'm using too much time, sorry. Um, but I think it was fun. It was really, really fun. And this is definitely an area I have never been before. Um, I don't know if you call it mixed media, uh, not really, um, but it was fun. So yeah, uh, I wanted to show you I did the pin too, but that was pretty simple. I just took the twine and, and f uh, took it around the pen and I took some bling I had. This is a cut from a shirt. So. Yeah, so this one matched the book very beautifully. Uh, then I made a tassel and I'm not sure what I did with that right now. But I made the top to... Yeah, one moment. So... Uh, the tassel here and um, the the only thing that wasn't in the <laughs> I should say kit it's not a kit in in the goodie bags that I uh, received from uh, Lacey was um, this um, chain uh, but I actually wanted them to be very long and, and dangle a little bit more. Um, this one, uh, she gifted me all the sequins and all the flowers and uh, oh sorry again and the bling. Uh, the spaces between the pearls is also from her and this beautiful um, rose uh, pearl is also and the green one is actually from myself. I put a, a um, keychain on it. Uh, that was what I had right now. Um, this cap was the one I showed you yesterday, not yesterday, Friday, in the last video. Um, it's it's uh, from the end of a, um, a necklace. I just uh, glued a bits and pieces on them and and it actually looks very very nice so that is a, a keychain tassel I made with her beautiful uh, things and I still have a ton of uh, materials uh, left to play with um, the bright colors is almost gone but then um, actually these bright colors, I don't work with them normally, uh, but it was fun to play with something else. Now I, I just have some of the more uh, subtle um, colors left that I will use in different uh, um, projects. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have uh, three or four things left. It's going to be a long one. I'm so sorry. I don't know if you remember the boxes from last time. Uh, this is the black one. I didn't know how to, like, I wanted to do this. And how I did it is, this is a gold trine. Uh, and uh, I put a little bit of uh, a glue dot here 
and I took it. I actually started in the corners, uh, so I have a cross. I didn't measure. I took it by eye sight, um, and th that's why it's a little bit crooked here. Uh, but no worries. Um, so, and then I wanted to do a, a bling in the middle of all of them, but I just uh, received these I ordered in January. Uh, they are plastic, um, I don't know if you can see them, not really, um, but it's it's plastic uh, flowers uh, with a bit of bling. Uh, and um, I wanted in the centers, I wanted um, bling bling. Bling 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 bling. So, see, the great thing about boxes is if you make a project, I put all my, in the things I wanted to play with uh, inside and then I can take it out and it will be ready and I can do stuff with it. Yes. So. And I have like this necklace, if it didn't, uh, yeah, yeah, I have this ne necklace and as you can see I've taken some of the bling out because I can't cut it uh, and I don't go around with uh, oh, jewelry like this. I normally don't use very much jewelry. Uh, I'm very boring in my... Um, in the clothes I'm wearing and, and in in uh, jewelry and such things. But I use these ones a lot and they are glass and they are very shiny and when I I am thinking of like if we can find it where is it? You can't see it because there's too much shine. Here it is. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> well, no worries. Uh, but you you uh, get the point. I am gonna glue all of them, and on this side I uh, sewn some dangles, and then I have put some of the flowers on here too so they also get a bling center. I was wondering if I was doing plastic on it or um, uh, the glass but I just wanted to deliver a beautiful box so even though I'm not sure about the color for the lady but don't worry. Then I have this piece that I made and I was thinking of doing just this. So I will take the center flower of this one off and I will glue this one on instead. I think it looks amazing. And then I was a little bit worried about the corners because I'm not that satisfied of what it looks like. I have these. I could put on. It's like um, they are also, no it's from a, uh, a blouse, not a uh, necklace, but blouse and they are uh, shiny, yeah, as you can see. But I will take them out of uh, this one uh, if they are not like um, going down. I'm not sure. Um, maybe I'm gonna do something else. But just to show you, it, it I haven't done much, uh, and it didn't take so long. But um, why I didn't finish was because it was in the middle of the evening, and I had this one in our bedroom, and my boy was sleeping, so I couldn't get it, uh, or else I would have uh, placed it uh, on it. Yeah. Um, then I made a, a couple of um, the crocheted uh, flowers that you have seen before. No, I don't know where it is right now. Well, and um, 
I did it in black and then I have started a um, a trim crocheting a black trim so yeah um, that is it for this one then I have something else I went to we have this tray market tray market day um, you can come with one thing and you can go home with uh, a thousand or you can come with a thousand and you can go home with one thing it's it's free the only thing you have to is take one thing with you so I had some uh, baby toy uh, and and clothes uh, that my boy is is uh, is uh, getting too big for so um, I took that and what I took with me home was these candlesticks and um, I was wondering using them for some of the hanging I don't have it right here but the tubes and and I will like try to bend these I have bent these ones a little bit out and um, these ones on top the other way so sorry <coughs> so I will get um, more space where I can hang things I don't know how it's gonna work but they were for free so uh, I have no problem in ruining them uh, and then on top of them I will glue a, a bowl, bowl of um, a glass bowl uh, so the storage on top and there can be dangle hanging so that is what these are for. then I got a um, belt a belt and uh, the belt uh, the belt was ruined it, it was uh, leather and there was fibers everywhere but there was this uh, buckle and I was thinking as a frame I'm not sure if I have a, a um, tool that is big enough for taking this off but I will think of a way to use it anyway uh, I don't have an idea right now on what but um, they there was just so much bling on it so but as you can see they have uh, it has been broken and somebody has glued it on and it's getting yellow so maybe i will do some uh, paint uh, white paint on top of it i'm not sure yet uh, and still could see the bling i think these ones they are st uh, glass so they are actually nice uh, bling so yeah and the same place I got something else I got all of this and remember this is free I, I came with three or five things and I got this with me home it hasn't been washed yet because we only have a um, the washing machine in the basement we, we are li living in an apartment and uh, all 12 uh, apartments is sharing one <laughs> washing machine and we only ha have it in on Saturday next weekend <laughs> and it's Monday today so I'm glad we have a lot of clothes and it's gonna be a long day on Saturday but mm, so and I don't go down and and wash just this one because then it, then it cost money. I put this with all of the other um, um, uh, clothes I have to wash, so it it doesn't cost extra. Yeah. Uh, but this one is actually a pillowcase for a um, baby. Um, uh, but I thought the trim was very cute and um, then I was thinking am I gonna take this and ruin it just because of the trim and then I was thinking 
I can use, of course, all of the other. This is uh, a cotton. It's an older cotton and it's very strong and I will be glad to have it. And even if it's uh, too much stained, uh, it can be coffee stained or tea dyed. So, and then there was this beautiful uh, um, pastel green um, dress and it is a large, which I am, uh, but uh, I tried it and it's not that nice. Uh, the shape is, is not working for me. I'm not very tall and um, that really doesn't work for me. Um, but uh, inside there is a uh, jersey, jersey fabric. I still don't know how to use this in any of my projects. But uh, the rest of it is this uh, beautiful, um, I think it's uh, a polyester, I think. Da, 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 da. Sorry, 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 sorry doesn't really matter but yeah it's polyester um, and it makes uh, beautiful flowers it's actually the same fabric as, 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 as I have used on this one this is one of my uh, flowers that I'm gonna sell so this fabric is the same but it's just another color so uh, so now I have a pastel green, which I love. Then I kind of got inspired by all of the colors. <laughs> and uh, this was a tiny sh uh, skirt. And it has all these prints on it and it's satin. And uh, I, it's, it's a too heavy fabric for flowers, but uh, maybe for something else. And... Um, on the other side, there's uh, some green uh, print on it also. I think it's very... Uh, it's very colorful, but it's also very uh, shabby. And there's uh, like uh, pieces that is very... Um, let's see if I do this. Then it's actually very nice. So can take pieces off and so yeah then I found this one this is still for free uh, and it's a nice shirt uh, but it's brown but it has this uh, beautiful fabric I can uh, do very beautiful flowers with it it's very light and um, so yeah I don't know about the brown, but I think if I combined it with some of the other things, it it is okay. Then uh, I got this one. It actually feels like silk, uh, like raw, raw silk or something. I'm not sure. But uh, there's no label on it. Um, this one is uh, from somebody who has tried to sell it, so... This is not a um, label from a store, um, but apparently she she dropped it. But she has taken the um, the description of the material out, so I have no idea. I uh, need to cut a piece and see if it burns. If it doesn't, I am gonna uh, do some other flowers with it. Then I was talking to Rosanna. Rosan, I think uh, I pronounce it, and she was talking about black, and um, so this is, was also for free, and as you can see it's uh, seafood, and it has these uh, beautiful flowers, and some uh, shimmer uh, in different colors, it's pretty nice. I think I will do some flowers for her. Um, if she wants to like receive a happy mail, uh, I would love to make some flowers for her uh, in this fabric and then gift her the rest of it because I have no idea what else to use it for. At some point my girl is gonna be grown up and I need to make dresses for her I guess. 
Um, I'm not sure. You, I'm gon not gonna wait ten years for using this fabric. So, and then I found this uh, scarf. This is like velvet, and uh, it's uh, silk underneath, and it just feels so nice. And it has these tassels in the end. Again, it's a dark grey um, color, um, and I think I will use it for wrapping. Uh, when you t do a soft pink and this grey, it matches perfectly, so I will work on something like that. But remember, everything hasn't been washed yet, so if there's stains on it, I'm so sorry. This one. Uh, the lady that was in this uh, trade market, um, she uh, she helped me a little bit because she was like uh, folding all the uh, uh, clothes, uh, and uh, she came over. I got this for you, and I was very glad. This is um, the name is Sand uh, Copenhagen. It's very expensive. Uh, and it has probably been a, a very expensive uh, shirt at some point, but as you can see, um, it is it's torn in in the sleeves and everything. I told her that I used the fabric uh, where I cut them up and make flowers of them, so she was like looking for flimsy um, uh, fabric for me. I th maybe this one is a. Um, I don't know if it's cotton or it's silk, so I can't use that much of the first layer here, but inside there's a totally uh, <laughs> polyester or viscose uh, fabric, um, and I can use this <laughs> for flowers. Uh, the other one, it has these, you can see, uh, pieces of it has so many small details. I don't know if you can see it properly. But as you can see, the opening of the shirt, it has this, and there's like sewn these tubes on it. Um, I don't know how to use this. It could be an opening for a uh, pocket or something like that. Uh, um, so. This was for free, and I'm very excited. Now I have a lot of more, a lot more um, fabric to use. Then I wanted to show you uh, some of the flowers that I, I was making. Um, so I got this far uh, with some of the flowers. Um, and uh, just, sorry for the noise. Um, I show you last time the scarves, and I still have a lot left, so I'm not worried that I don't have enough. Um, but this one is very stiff. What I wanted to say about these uh, fabrics is that they. Uh, melt very easily and they burn like hell uh, so they, it's very dangerous uh, as thinner as the fabric is uh, the less um, heat it needs so uh, don't don't get it too close to the to the candle um, yeah I can't say more than that um, it, it goes very fast. So I am very excited because I think it's uh, fun to play with, but it's not gonna be, it's really not gonna be inside. I'm gonna bring these. But this is how they came out. Actually, this one uh, I used in between of these. I don't know if you can see. I have a layer. Here, it's so thin, and I couldn't, <laughs> I could almost not find the petals when I was working with it. 
so uh, because it was white on white um yeah but it just gives this extra look to it have the other one here um so i was thinking that i could have made these ones with this fabric but they are too stiff um so it won't work but it still makes excellent uh, flowers uh, for um, material for these kind of flowers so um but Lacey did ask me when she saw my these kind of flowers and i am like missing one oh it's here um and how i made them so i took I took some bit and pieces out. It's not gonna be the same colors because I don't uh, have something ready right now. But um, let me take the purple ones. There's most of them. This is actually the only petals I have left that is melted right now. Um, what I do is I take these ones. So you can either use them as they are like this and just do this. Or you can, now I'm gonna try to show you, I'm gonna place it like this and then I am like rolling it so I have a center. So as you can see, this is my center. And then I take one more petal and do the same. I just place, I don't uh, glue or sew right now because I if you're gluing, you would do it right now, but uh, sewing, I'm just waiting a little bit to have a bigger flower to sew. And um, then I am placing them, you can see here it ends, I'm just placing on top so they overlap each other. And then I just, I don't do it so closely to it, I do it a little bit looser. and. What I can see right now, I need one more, and then I think I'm ready to sew it on. It's a little bit difficult to do in front a, of a camera. So I have it like this right now, and it is looking nice. I am just gonna sew some stitches in cross. As you can see, I just sewn this way, um, this way, and then I'm sewing this way now. And I'm just doing like a pizza slice <laughs> uh, pattern. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it else. Oh, oh, it's so. And then tuck the pieces in. Then I just look at it. Am I satisfied? Yeah, I am. Okay. Then I will begin. I will, as you can see, the last petal is like ending here. So I will take my needle and place it just, I don't know, is it a half an inch or uh, smaller? Like from the end and then I just put it here. Then I do, I still, uh, if I had some that was smaller, I would have done smaller, maybe, yeah. Uh, just for showing you, I have this one that's a little bit smaller. And I'm looking at the petal, and that is why I don't cut them round, but I just cut them, and they get a little bit of different shapes. So I have something to work with. I am looking at this petal and I'm looking what could be exciting as a top. This one I think is very boring because it hasn't been melted uh, very much. But this one is like, um, let me see that. I hope I explained it correctly. Then I will do a down and upwards uh, stitching and I will do it from this end to this end like 
Can you see here? I do from here to here. From here to here. All the way here. Like if I show you on this one, it will be from this side over to this side. So I just do that. Just so you will see this one. And then I have the pedal here. Uh, I would like this pedal. I just tuck them together, not too much. I will like shape it around my butt, but button, <laughs> not my butt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, and this is like the idea. Um, I will definitely cut this up again. But I take my needle and I just put it right in the uh, right through the center and back again. So I start where I ended. Uh, so I have the string again at the same place. Then I take another one. This one, uh, because they are too big and I don't want to cut them, I am just gonna like double them so they are half size. That is probably also easier. The place where I have folded them, that is where I do this stitching. And then I just, I have this ruffle, I don't tuck them too much, because if I do it too much, it's just the pedal does like doing this. But if I, in the beginning, like, take them a little bit around the rosebud, it will shape around the flower. And... And I do the same kind of stitching. And as I'm closing in here, it just uh, it's just doing this. And then I can shape the petals afterwards if I want it to be closed more or open. It depends on how I develop it. If some of the petals is like too long, like this one, I can show you what I do then. That is why I'm sewing, because I think it's easier to correct a mistake afterwards. So, I'm just doing the same thing as I did before. So, back here. But as you can see, it, it does something crooked and doesn't really look very nice. So, I go back to the middle of that petal. And then I'm gonna cheat <laughs> as much as I can. I'm going in the middle of the pedal and I'm just doing this. Can you see that? I'm just taking my needle in the in the center of this pedal. I will show you on this one. The center of the pedal I'm doing this. And then I can like take the fabric down. There's a lot of explaining. I'm so sorry, but I'm not that good at this. So, I take my thread all the way, and then I'm gonna do the stitching back again. And I'm just gonna take slowly and take the... and tie, uh, make it tight. And then you can see I took the pedal in the same height as the rest of it and then when I shape around with a new pedal it will lay into the flower. Oh my god this is difficult to explain in another language but I really hope you get something out of that. It isn't that uh, when you first begin playing with all of these petals. It's like just doing snippets, I think. 
in a way. It's not like that. As you can see, I take this one in. This is what we have uh, worked with. This one is the next one, and this is what we did work with. You can see it like opens up in a different way, but when I put the next one on, I need to see here. I don't have more of the petals. So I'm just doing this one. I'm not that particularly uh, thinking, I'm not thinking so much of am I starting on the outside or the inside. I will learn on the way of how it will look. So I have the next petal here and I will, this is really difficult, but I will take the petal here and place it on top of the one that is like sticking out. So I will take the one that's sticking out, put it in, and then I will go all the way around. And I'm close here, and now you can see I have tucked the petal more in. This is not going to be a very nice uh, one because uh, I'm trying to show you the technique and not uh, making a very pretty flower so um, but this is the the way I'm working with it and of course I I um, take it out and I look at the flower and right now there's too many petals on this side and not enough here so I would of course have been working more with some petals here and then I am just going around Working, working, uh, working the flower. So it will like do this flimsy. So I do tuck a lot of. I think there's uh, three or four in the center, and then I just uh, take some. Uh, yeah, petals around. Yeah, I hope uh, you get some out of this. Uh, some idea of what how I, I make them um, if not <laughs> I'm so sorry I will work on on a tutorial but it's not gonna be right now well let's see have I done anything else I painted right I did the box uh, the heart the flowers for the buyer that is these ones the trade things uh, was the bugworm things. The candlesticks was Debbie Lewis from on on the crafty crafters. So I have no more on my to do list um, for this video. It's enough. It's a long one again. Uh, I have the time for making the video, so I'm sorry it's gonna be so long, but. Um, I have, it's, it's, uh, I'm working on getting better at this, but for now I can show you like this one. It also looks nice, right? <laughs> and then a glass on top. Um, yeah. Um, for next time, I don't know, I will finish some of my uh, things and, um, and I will show you that. I have no idea what to do from the to-do box right now, but I need to make the flowers finished uh, for the buyer and I need to make the stick pins. Uh, they are giving me a little bit of trouble because I don't like the shape of some of them. And yeah, um, and then I need one more bag uh, to play with. Yeah, I have one thing more. Um, I will, I will uh, uh, save that for next time, but um, I won't be on uh, until uh, Friday uh, because I have some uh, things I need to do on Wednesday, so yeah. Bye for now and thank you for being, uh, for inspiring me and uh, thank you for your uh, beautiful comments and um, I see you soon, bye.